interesting presentations. This is the one that I just did. I'd make a duplicate of it. And then I'd go inside and I'd edit it. So that's going to be my duplicate. It's duplicated successfully. This is a copy of it. So I just go in and edit. And then I can rename this for Mr. Brian. And go through and just update a couple things I need to update for Mr. Brian. Okay, so that is how once you are, once you get the feel of doing one or two of these, that's how the whole system works. No matter what you're working on, whether it be postcards or flyers or newsletters, whatever you're working on. That's, you know, it's as easy as getting information in there, and it, it's really, really simple once you try it, and it's fun. But most importantly, we want to get our sphere of influence. And we want to make sure we get them out, emails and information, so that we just put them into a 33 touch and kind of not forget about them, but kind of forget about them, just let, let them know we're always out there. So what we're going to do now is go into uh, Market My Sphere. And there are several ways you can do this. There's the 12 direct campaign, but I'm gonna jump right to the 33 touch. Now, if you look through, it has the campaign all in here, what's gonna be sent out. Like on the very top, it starts out with just like a little, um, I'm here to answer your questions. And then every month, there's a newsletter that's written and has your information, it's automatically sent. And then here and there, they just send out little emails and things to remind people that you're out there. Then there's this one that pops up that's really cool. It's called the phone call. So it'll tell you so many weeks into your campaign that you should pick up the phone and just say hi, have you get my emails, and it gives you the script on exactly what to say when you make the phone call. It's unbelievable how easy if you follow the system. It's just telling you what you need to do. But it goes all the way down. There's another phone call. And the phone call is on the top of It'll send you an email. I actually did one for myself and I've been kind of testing it. It'll send you an email and tell you, let's see if I have mine in here real quick. Um, let's Sorry, I think I may have deleted them last night. Just like the uh, generator, they give you a reminder. Yes. I'm just going to see if I had it in here. Um, I think I deleted, deleted them, I'm sorry. But it will tell you exactly what to say. It will say, hello, my name is blank, Gina Stango. I'm just checking to see if you've been receiving my emails okay. It'll tell you exactly what to say on the phone. And it'll shoot you an email into this. So we're going to jump back into the market me. Okay. Great marketing. I'm going to jump back into the 33 touch. So I'm going to the design gallery. Mark it to my sphere. 33 touch campaign. Okay, I'm gonna select this campaign. And I'm gonna call it 33 touch for my Facebook contacts. Because just so you're aware, um, there is, and I'll send directions on how to do this. If you are worried about who your sphere is and you have a whole lot of people on your database, you have more than you think. Um, if you have a Facebook page or a LinkedIn page, all those contacts can be easily exported um, into an Excel document where you have your name and their name and their email address and you can put them right on your sphere of influence mailings. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm just going to send one to myself. So I'm just going to type in Gina. 
and hit filter, and it'll find Gina. I'm going to add Gina to the list, and then I'm going to save. So now I've added 33 touch for Gina. Now right now it's inactive, so we need to make it active to start sending things out. So I'm going to start this. Um, I can go in and edit, but I'm going to start it today, or 27, about kind of delivery. I'll just click the start button. And now it's active. So now they're on the 33 touch. They're going to get all those emails. They still have to come down here and there's one. You know, I don't want to send a newsletter right away. Uh-oh. Why is it not working? Oh, you know it? Go up top. Yeah, why is it not working? You have to... Um, You, you activated it? Yeah, it's active. Okay. Yeah, just edit. it. No, that's not it. No, it was working for me last night. I was playing with it. No. Oh, go down again. Which one were you trying to do? Oh, that's already passed already. So oh, that March 30th. You have to go right. down. Okay. If it passed, you can't get rid of it. Thank you, Jim. I'm like, oh, why is it not going? Um, we want to go all the way down to August. So like, there's ones coming up in August we don't want, we can just turn them off. And it will turn off those campaigns. Now if it already passed, as you just saw from my mistake, um, you can't turn it off because it already went. You know, back at the top, there's a amount of balance. Top right. Right, these are all emails, so there is no charge for these. If there's um, something you put on, if you start getting deeper into it and you put on like mailings where you're mailing postcards and mailing things out, you need to put money into it for those kind of things. All the email things are all included. So there is no charge for things. So I had one delivered this morning to myself and this is how the email came in. It came in with my photo, my name, my information and website. And it's just a little blurb that came at the front with the Keller Williams logo. So I'm on my own 33 touch and I'm going to get those emails on a regular basis. So pretty much once you put people in here, they're in here. Um, once you upload your database, you can put everybody onto one folder and just put them all in the same 33 touch and just some people I heard were worried that maybe they downloaded a database and has people from Keller Williams and they don't want to bother everybody. I really wouldn't worry about it. Um, it, it you're sending these things out to someone and it's in the office and they're kind of don't want to be bothered. They, they'll just take the email and they will click down the bottom where if you want it to be removed from, removed from the communication. And um, don't take that offensively because I'm telling everybody just send out to your database just get used to doing it. So if you happen to get a bunch of them and you want to click this just so you don't get them anymore, um, don't take offense if someone deletes from the office from your emails because it just means, you know, they're getting overwhelmed because everyone's sending the same emails. Um, but yeah, it's really easy to set up this 33 touch. And the other campaigns are the same. Like if you come across a seller, someone to sell their house, there's an 8x8. And there's different dates inside there too of when they get sent out. So these are all on. So this would go, as soon as I called somebody on the phone, I put them in there. I put this in last night. So this is the first one to go out, which just came to my email this morning. So it was one day after the contact. So say like I want to be really aggressive. I went through and changed this. This was actually um, 10 days, but I changed it to two days. And how I did that was went into edit events, number of days until event fires. So I wanted two days from the last thing. And then I just save it. So like this one says, I, I mean, I talked to this person, I know they are definitely listed in their house within the next two weeks. They have to because they're moving out. So if that goes two days, I'm gonna make this one go like four days after that one. So I go in and edit this one and change that eight to four and save it. 
So now I know this is going to go out in two days, and four days later this one's going to go out. And this one's going to go out in 22 days. I'm going to change that to like another four days. So you can actually go in and customize after you talk to a client on the phone, and, and if you know they're aggressive, they need to be out, you know, in two weeks they need to have their house listed. You can be more aggressive with making sure you're constantly on, you know, popping up on their screen every day so they don't forget about you. Or the flip side, you talk to somebody and they're like, no, I'm going to list, you know, the end of the year, it's June and I'm waiting until after Christmas and I'm going to list it. Then you can maybe spread them out a little longer, like every three or four weeks, but you can actually go through and plan that by the client talking to them and kind of get a feel for what they're looking for. And again, on these, you don't even need to save them. It saves them all automatically for you. So, portfolio, the design gallery. Um, that is pretty much how you set up when you go in for a 33 touch and for an 8x8. The flyers and, and templates are all in there for listing and selling presentations. Uh, they're adding more. If you're on the pro, there's a, a whole lot more. You can create your own websites, and there's a lot more. It gets really deep. I would say get comfortable with what's already on here that's included for your $25 a month. And then if you want to advance onto those other things, they're really cool. But if you literally spend a couple of hours just toying with this, it's so easy, and you're going to just, I, I can't see how you're not going to get more clients from it because it's doing all this work for you. And there's so many systems out there that people are paying hundreds of dollars.